This is Sparog's lair? Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Sparog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. If there's medicine, it'll come in handy. Come on, then. Heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Open sesame. Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. A uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue! <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svorog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... Uh, special. <laughs> 